Okay, so 2023 uh, junior cert higher level maths question 10. It's about uh, universal service charge. So Michelle must pay USC on all of her gross income. The income bands that she must pay are given in the table below. So you've got three different rates. Michelle plays, pays USC at all three rates. Find the amount of USC that she must pay at the each of the first two rates, one and a half percent and three and a half percent. Okay, so for the first one and a half, sorry, for the first uh, 12,012 euros, she must pay this much. So that's going to be one, two, zero, one, zero, multiplied by 1.25 percent. We'll get the answer there. The other one then is 5,564 multiplied by 3.5 percent. Okay, so we'll just use the calculator for that. So 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, multiplied by 0 0.015. That is the same as saying 1.5%. And that is 180 euros and 18 cent. That's the first one. The second one then is 5564. Five, multiplied by 0 0.035 or three and a half percent that is 194 euro and 74 cent 74 cent okay so that's part a uh, michelle's gross income is x we're going to probably have to find that michelle pays a total of five percent of her gross income in usc so that's the same as saying 0 0.5x. That's what our gross, our USC total is going to be. So write an expression in terms of x, the total amount of money that she pays. Okay, well, just as I did there. So the first part is going to be 0 0.05x. So that's how we're going to get it. So we know we're going to have to have these two in it the um, 180 and the 194 that we just calculated in the previous step. Uh, the last one though, so the last one is whatever is left, you must pay 7% on it. So let's do that part first. So there's going to be a 0 0.07 multiplier on whatever amount of money she pays sorry she earns over this amount so that's going to be the same as x minus 17 5 7 6 so we'll say x minus 17 5 7 6 in here plus these two numbers have to get added in so i'll write them here uh, plus 194 Okay, so I'll just write it once more and bring those two numbers together. Um, I'm going to leave this like this for the moment. I think that's okay. Plus, and let's add those two numbers together. So that's 194 plus 180.18. That gives me 374 and 92 cent. Okay, so that's my um, way of working it out in terms of X. Okay, find the value of X, Michelle's gross income. Okay, so I'm going to write my expression again. Equals 0 0.07 all over, uh, sorry minus this one plus 374.92 okay so the next thing we'll do is we will uh, multiply 0.7 by both of these so that's going to be 0 0.7x minus still this one on the calculator 0 0.07 multiplied by 1 Seven five seven six 
and that should be okay so that's 12 30 32 cent plus 374 92 so let's bring the x over here so we'll subtract uh, 0.7x from both sides basically which is going to give me 0.2 over here that'll be gone so i'm going to be left with 12 30.32 plus 374.92 okay and now <coughs> we need to So that's a minus. Plus three seven four point nine two. So that's what I'm left with there. Eight fifty five point. But it's a minus, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So then all I need to do is divide that number by minus 0 0.02 to get. So I'm dividing across by 0. Point, sorry, that should be minus when I bring over when I subtract the minus 707 7%. It's going to be minus on that side. So this is x is equal to 42,770 uh, euro. So that's what Michelle earns. Okay, and that's it for, for, for question 10.